All right, well, I'm gonna go through my waiting, sling waiting pack. This is a, a Magellan, and it's um, what I would take for just creek waiting or even river waiting, just waiting in general, or um, just walking a trail and I'm fishing a creek or something where I'm just moving. And usually take this one fishing pole and I'm just gonna move maybe up to a four hour trip. Not nothing like I'm gonna go over, you know, real long because doesn't I don't carry any water usually. Uh, maybe a couple snacks, but we'll go through. I didn't, I've been needing to uh, organize it anyways. So I got a new uh, box that I'm gonna put in there because the other one, it's kind of small and I've been, I need to reorganize everything. So I'm gonna dump it out. We're gonna kind of show you what I carry in there and then I'm reorganize it, put it back in there. Maybe this will help you out. I love this pack just because how simple it is. Um, I have another one that I'm gonna be using that it's a little bit bigger, it can carry water. This one here is just real simple, easy. I can just throw it on and boom, go somewhere. A lot of times I might, I might only pick out a couple lures, but you know, I can carry what I need and I'm gonna show you what all I carry in here. All right, let's just start dumping it out because it's, uh, it's a mess in here and it needs to be organized anyways. So I got a, you got a front pouch right here. You can uh, hold, man, even old base I didn't know were in there. It's got a little zip up pouch on the inside of it. It's a little front pouch. It's got the middle pouch where he holds the uh, tackle boxes. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then it's got this back pouch. It's a slide where I'm, I'll hold uh, a lot of time. I don't have them in here right now, but I'll put some in there. Some uh, little packages of lures and um, things like that. Gets a lot of dirt in there. All right, let's go through really quick. So I got a little GoPro sessions. I got a little uh, tripod, but this is mainly for underwater releases that I can use for underwater releases. Also, it's a backup camera. If my camera that I'm wearing goes dead. Got a, just a Rapala knife. This is a um, porcelain blade. Just It's real lightweight. Everything I'm, you know, I want compact lightweight stuff. A little grippers, uh, Rapala grippers, small and lightweight. This right here, I'll usually put on my waist, but it's uh, sometimes I'll carry it in the bag. Gerber uh, pliers. Small uh, Rapala scale. I like how this, it only goes up to 25 pounds, but it does great. I, I, you know, easy to carry. Pair of fingernail clippers, cutting lines. Forceps for um, getting you know hooks out of fish's mouth, something like that. Small pair. Uh, eight pound line this time. This is just my leader line if I'm using braid or just a little bit of extra line. A bag of batteries and extra SIM cards for my cameras. Um, I use the GoPro Hero 5, so these these are for the Hero 5. Uh, let's see here, I got an extra battery for the um, DSLR that I'm using up there, The uh, I think it's a Canon. Uh, extra microphone, just have it in there. A uh, pack of jig heads, another pack of jig heads, I don't know why they're in there. Uh, another pack of jig heads, uh, a couple of bobbers, just kind of random. Some little baits in that little package. Oh, and this is something I just got. Open it up. It's a uh, real small tape measure. A uh, little compact tape. Whoa. Oh, there it go. Oh, that's pretty cool. It goes up to six foot. It's got a little button on the back. It's an Ozark Trail 60, oh, it says 60 inch tape measure. Uh, or five foot, I guess. So, got a little button on the back to pull it back in. Just, you know, something small if you want to be able to measure a fish or whatever. Also, super, super lightweight. Uh, a little granola bar. A bunch of old baits that I need to throw away. and get this out. And then I got the little pack here. Now, this is not the one that comes with. What it comes with is two this size. Um, bigger ones. But, I do not like using two it is way too much you don't need two of these in here because if you put two of these in the pouch where it goes and then you want to put stuff in the bag it really makes it tight so if you use one take out the other one and use it for somewhere else just put one when you go using it you have a lot more room and it doesn't squeeze it so hard 
um, that I definitely recommend doing that. That, that is a, definitely a good thing to do. J I mean, if you need two packs anyways, you need to be taking like, if you need that much stuff, you probably should just take a, uh, you know, backpack or something. So when I load this up, I'm thinking lightweight, compact, the basics. What do I need without getting too much stuff and just having so much stuff in there where it's just bulging and ripped like it already is because I bulged it out. So I'm always trying to find small, compact things that I can put in there to make it easier. It looks like it's gonna rain, but anyways, all right. I got a new pouch, new uh, Plano pouch here. I'm dumping this old one out. It's got so much stuff in there. Goodness. Uh, it's got a good pile of lures. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, so I got a pretty good pile of lures right here. Lots of different things that I'll throw in there and come and take. Um, let's. I'm gonna just organize them and we're gonna we're gonna put them in here. First, I got this is a little Nico um, paddle tail swim bait. All the Nico products, kind of like the Z-Man, you don't want to put with other soft plastics or it'll uh, the the material kind of I don't know what it does, but it melts it or whatever. Got a little Nico bait there. All right, I'm just gonna put in things that I, I know that I like to use. Rebel Crawl. Rebel Crick Hopper. Rebel Teeny R. Th these, these three lures are, I use a ton, so I'm definitely gonna have those in here. Rooster Tail. Another little jig someone gave me. A couple more inline spinners that I got. These are Maguster spinners, but I'll put all the spinners in the same little category here. I got a few different ones that I have. All right, these are some swim baits. They're kind of dyed where the colors are kind of run together. All right, you're gonna need a couple different pouches for hooks. I got catfish hooks and bass hooks in one big pouch. And I got another one, little one for the little jig heads. And um, I'm always gonna have some panfish wire hooks definitely use those a lot so i'll put those in a little category put the bigger hooks in a different category uh, a bunch of split shot weights let's put those with the bass hooks put those in there all right you can see this thing is getting filled up pretty quickly um, if you want it to stay organized but a lot of times i will just put other lures on top of them i got a lot of different little um like crappie jigs uh, some of them already have hooks in them and I would like I like to carry a few different ones in here. So I'm gonna kind of put all those in one little compartment. And you always have a bunch of little extra odd end things that you want to keep in there. Little trout magnets. Actually, I need to get some more trout magnet hooks. I'm out of those. Um, but I got some little trout magnet lures. I'm just gonna to toss them in here with the little other soft plastics. Uh, I got some stuff somebody gave me. I'm gonna put those in there. And weed out any of the old stuff that's not used. A um, couple little bobbers, I can just stick those in there. So there we go. We're um, we're pretty pretty full over here. Like I said, I'm not carrying a ton. This is for waiting and simplicity. As this part, this is mainly your terminal stuff. A few soft plastics over here. Spinners, um, little crappie jigs, extra jig heads, and um, panfish hooks. Some hard baits uh, a couple rebel several rebel rebel lures in there bass hooks catfish hooks uh, a couple bobbers a few nico baits that need to be separated by themselves and there you have it this thing is ready to go got a little bit of this a little bit of that i can take this box right here and catch a bunch of different types of fish no i don't have uh two three of everything and there's several lures i'd like to have in there that i don't all right, so this is going in the middle pouch. And if I wanted to, I could take another little pack like this and put it in there also, or put it in the back. So, you know, with only putting one pouch in the middle, I can, you know, tweak it and carry a little bit extra stuff. All right, let's put all, let's put my hardware stuff that I definitely want to have. This, all these things, I'll keep that in the front area. Camera, 
and my batteries i like to put those in the front too so front is ready to go it's loaded up the middle i'm done with it's loaded up so i got this huge pouch in the back that i can really you can really get a lot of stuff in there and like i said i'm gonna put my i'm gonna put my leader line or any kind of extra line let me go ahead and just throw this um utility knife in there and I'm gonna throw a few uh, soft plastic packs in there. And, it, and this is where it really depends on everywhere. I, every time I go fishing, I kind of look through this part to see what I want to put in there. Cause I could leave a ton of stuff in there, but most of the time, am I, you know, am I crappie fishing, my bluegill fishing, you know, am I going for bigger bass where I'm going, you know, or just a little bit of assortment. And usually it's gonna be a little bit of assortment. If I want to throw an extra pack of jig heads in there, I need some lighter ones. Throw those in. Let's go ahead and put those there. Let me pick something out of here that I would take. Let's say I'm going to a new creek, never been before. I know it could have bass and panfish that I want to catch. Probably something, this is on the bigger side, these missile baits, something if I need a bigger wacky rig or shaky head, we'll take one like bigger pack lure. I've been liking these easy shiners. Um, there's only a few of them left in there, but I definitely like having these. If you know, I'm gonna go through just swim baits. There's a different kind of swim bait, a little bit bigger, um, Bobby Garland. Maybe give me some little bobby garlands or some kind of little crappie jigs. Maybe two or three packs of, or a couple packs of these, a couple different colors I like to do. Uh, this is a crankbait that I bought the other day, a husky jerk. It's kind of a bigger crankbait, so uh, kind of, I'd like to have that in there just in case we need to come across an area where there's some big fish. A couple uh, panfish assassin, a couple different colors. A couple Nico Helgramites, maybe a couple different colors on those. Definitely, I always take Helgramites everywhere I go. Uh, another Bobby Garland, I like that color. And that's probably gonna do it. That's a just a good little assortment of stuff. Nothing over the top crazy. It's gonna fit in there pack fine. Put those extra jig heads in there. Maybe a granola bar. Gotta have a little snack. And we're ready to go. It only weighs a few pounds. I feel like I got enough stuff in there that I'm comfortable with. Doesn't, doesn't weigh me down. I can wear my camera um, right here and it's not gonna get in the way. Holds really, holds really high up where if I'm wading through the water, it's not gonna get wet. And it's easy and ready to go. I got everything I need that I feel like I could catch anything. If I come across swift current, if I come across deep pools, if I come across little fish, big fish, I got it all. I'm gonna take one rod, a lot of times six, eight, four to eight pound line, you know, medium light action, something like that, and I can go for whatever.